Namaskar sir. I'm so happy that I have finally been able to meet you and to have a nice conversation with you about certain things that have been troubling me. And uh, I wish I could have had this conversation with my father. Who would have maybe given me more time? Much better than permission maybe, about all these maybe things. Maybe I no, I don't know whether better or not. But uh, anyways, I'm so glad and really happy that you have found time for me and uh, got this opportunity. So my question is related to the respect that Einstein commands in the entire world. Amongst the scientific community, amongst the laymen, amongst everyone, he is supposed to be the genius of all times. So why is that? If you can tell me in a nutshell, is something that the layman can understand. You mean about the thinking of Einstein? Hello, associated with Einstein. Definitely, you, definitely. You, you. Einstein published three papers in 1905, and that is known as a miraculous year. And all three papers were unrelated to each other. To each other. One was about photoelectric effect. Photo the other was the special theory of relativity. And the third one was on Brownian motion and the existence of molecules. I was not even aware of this. Yes, that is an equally important paper. And people say that he could have been awarded a Nobel Prize for all three of all, them. All three. Three, three, prizes. three separate Three separate prizes. prizes. That is about uh, Einstein's uh, brilliance really? and uh, particular year, miraculous year, 1905. So in one year he was able to, yes. or at least he might have been thinking about mm -hmm. this for a, quite true. some time, but true. the publications were in the same true. one year. True, true. All three papers were published. Actually, two years are very important in his life. One is 1905 and the other is 1915 when he gave the general theory of relativity. So that is one thing. I agree that although he was awarded the Nobel Prize for uh, photoelectric effect, the main contribution which made him so famous, a world personality, was the theory of relativity, which was published in 1905, special theory of relativity. Why that is so important is that uh, it made a breakthrough in the thinking of human mind nearly 350 years after Newton. Till Einstein's time, Newton was supposed to be the New Newtonian, Newtonian mechanics, Newtonian was, mechanics was explaining most mechanics. of the physics. But uh, there were certain experiments which could not be explained. And uh, <laughs> one of them was uh, black body radiation in which Einstein contributed by the paper on photoelectric effect. And so he was a pioneer of quantum mechanics also. Quantum, quantum mechanics also. A special theory of relativity occupies a special position in Einstein's contribution. The reason being the a new concept that was added by him, which was of time depending on the observer. Before that, the concept of time in Newtonian mechanics and Galilean mechanics was that it is independent of it, the motion of the observer. All observers throughout the universe will be measuring time at the same time. But there were certain objections. The reason being that according to uh, the old theory of relativity or the Galilean relativity, the relative speed should change. For example, if a person is traveling in a train and an observer is there on the platform, the two are having watches which are synchronized with each other they are supposed to measure the same time. That's it. The interval between two events will be the same for the two observers. That's that right. was That's Galilean right. relativity or Newtonian relativity. 
the word relativity existed even before Einstein. I see. Huh. The main contribution of Einstein was that he thought and he proved that this time will depend on the motion of the observer or the relative motion of the observer and the um, observed quantity. So the concept of time was the main thing. Two events which are simultaneous for an observer in a um, train, traveling in a train, will appear to be different to an observer. They will be not appearing to be simultaneous if they are observed by some other observer who is standing on the platform. That seems to be the most important contribution regarding the time and simultaneity which was introduced by Einstein. He said that time and space are not unrelated quantities, they are connected with each other. Is this really, does this really happen in a train at the speed of the train or are we also speaking about it being subject to the speed of the train? It is dependent on the train. Actually, observable effect. Observable. Observable effect can be obtained only if the speed of, or the relative speed of one observer with respect to the other is of the order of the velocity of light. Which is actually which cannot happen for a train. Yes, true. True. But there are experimental verifications of the predictions of Einstein uh, as far as uh, the consequence of this is concerned, one, two consequences or two assumptions, I should say, of a special theory of relativity were, first, that all the laws of physics remain the same in all frames moving relative to each other with a constant speed. And the second was that light speed is constant irrespective of the motion of the observer or the source. Right. Based on these two, they were not uh, uh, fitting with the Newtonian mechanics. So what Einstein did was to modify the Newtonian mechanics so that these two effects can be included. So was his, uh, was his uh, theory based on actual experiments or was it uh, a thought, thought experiment. Well, at the time of Einstein, most of it was thought experiment. Thought experiment. So that, this has all been uh, verified later on. Yes, except for one very important experiment, which was Michelson Morley experiment. Mm -hmm. And uh, by that, we tried to verify the fact that the velocity of light is constant or not. And the failure of that experiment, that experiment was designed to see that if there is a relative motion, the velocity of light will be different. That experiment failed. And the failure of that experiment was an indication that the uh, velocity of light remains constant. So the failure was actually a success. Success. Because that was true. from where the real learning took true, place. True, true. It was because it failed and so we learnt of something new. Yes. Right. From March to June 1905, Einstein published four papers that revolutionized the world of science. Till date, such remarkable contributions by one person to diverse fields of physics remains unparalleled. The first one was on June 9, 1905, titled A Heuristic Point of View of the Production and Transformation of Light. The second one was on July 18, 1905, titled On the Movement of Small Particles Suspended in a Stationary Liquid as Required by the Molecular Kinetic Theory of Heat. The third one was on September 26th, 1905, it was titled on the electrodynamics of moving bodies and uh, publisher was analyst de physique 
and the fourth one was on November 21st, 1905. It was titled, Does the Inertia of a Body Depend on Its Energy Content? These are all translations and the original were in German.